So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD, then you're going to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you're gonna type in SFC space forward slash scan now, and then click on enter. Then you want to run the scan. We can run the scan in the background as you complete the next steps in the video. So you just wanna minimize this. And now for the second step, you're gonna head over to search again and type in device manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna expand disk drives. Then you wanna find all your drives. You wanna right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that you have the best drivers for device installed. And now for the next step, you wanna head over to search again and type in file explorer. Click on it. And then once you're on this, on the left hand side, you wanna scroll down and then click on this PC. Now you wanna find the drive that has Windows installed on it. It's gonna have the Windows logo on it. That's how you know it's the correct one. You wanna right click on it and then click on properties and then click on tools. And now you want to click on check and then click on scan drive. And now you want to run this scan. And now for the next step, you want to head back to CMD. You want to wait for your SFC scan now command to be completed. Once it's been 100% complete, now we're going to type in chkdsk space full slash f space full slash r. And then click on enter. Wait for this to load. And then once this loads up, you want to type in y and then click on enter again. And then once you've done that, you just want to restart your computer, but keep on watching the video. Restart your computer, keep on watching. And now as the computer is turning on, it's going to be saying to skip this checking, press any key. Do not press any key. You do not want to press any key. You want to let all the seconds load in. Then you want to run this checking. It's now going to run this. It will then take you back to Windows and then the problem should be fixed. 